All right. So when we're going to be solving this problem, guys, whenever you have an inequality, and I say solve and graph, what we want to do first, like I said, is don't worry about the inequality side right now. We just want to treat these just like equations. So the first thing I'll do is I'll rewrite this as an equation. Okay? So once I have this now as an equation, now I can solve this using my two-step method. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh man, I forget the two-step method. How do we solve two-step methods? What do we do again? Remember, the whole purpose of solving is to get your variable by itself. So a lot of times I would say, circle your variable, what we call pinning it. Then look at what is happening to your variable. There's two numbers that are on the same side of V. I have a negative 5 and I have a negative 4. Then we need to determine what are those two numbers doing. Okay? So negative 5, since it's right next to the V, is multiplying. So we say negative 5 is multiplied by V. Then I have a negative 4. And what I can say is my, negative, my 4 is being subtracted from my V. All right, since it's a negative 4, I'm taking 4 and subtracting it from V. All right? So therefore, now the next thing is, remember when we're doing our inverse operations, we had to remember, always do the inverse, always undo your addition and your subtraction first. So I look at this and say, well, since I'm subtracting a 4, the opposite of that would be to add 4. And the reason why I know that is correct is remember, subtract 4, add 4 is going to cancel out to 0. And that's exactly what we want to get on the side of our variable, is to eliminate that number. And then I'm left with a negative 5v equals negative 25. So now I say, all right, negative 5 is being multiplied by v. To undo multiplication is to divide, divide by negative 5. Therefore, v is equal to a positive 5. So now what we need to do is input back our symbol. Now remember, I told you guys, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to do what with the sign? Rip it? Tip it? Flip it. Flip it. There you go. So therefore, instead of opening to the right, it opens now to the left. Okay? Then, like the first part of the worksheet, we just graph it. Okay, and I've already gone through plenty enough problems, guys, to do this. All I'm going to do is remember make a point at 5. I know now, I've done enough of these problems, that I know that since this is greater than, it does, it's not greater than or equal to, it's going to be an open dot, right? Because if I put 5 is greater than 5, I know that's false, so therefore it's an open dot. Then it says V is all numbers greater than 5. Well, always look. Is three, is it three greater than five? No, those are all false statements, right? What about to the right? Are all the numbers to the right greater than five? Yes. Yeah, yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna draw my line to the right. Okay? It's really helpful, guys, if you say it out loud. That will really help you do these problems. Yes. You know them? Um, 